you know, I, 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 we, we really emphasize uh, execution and getting off to a good start. Obviously, we knew they would be hyped up. They just had their butts kicked on, on Saturday. Um, you know, he had taken Wilson out of lineup and put him back now. Uh, you know, they came out. I told our guys Christian Braun would step up and play well, which he did. Uh, we just, you know, the, they punched first, but to our guys' credit, we hung in there. We, I think we had it to four or five um, right before half, a couple little a play here or there. Um, you know, you put a little more pressure on them. Bill calls timeout. And then the second half, it's uh, pretty it's pretty simple. They they just out-toughed us for offensive rebounds. And, and then once they got those rebounds and had that little run, then they made a couple threes, and uh, now, now you're – now you had yourself in a bind. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, I, I, I'm disappointed for our guys. It's, a, it, again, it, it's a learning lesson. Um, got to be a little tougher. Got to execute a little better. Got to have some mental toughness. Uh, they did a great job on Nigel. Obviously, Nigel was special the other day. But we knew that they would come after him. Uh, and Garrett, obviously, what National Defensive Player of the Year last year, got length, older, strong, knows how to play. Really got into Nigel and worn down a little bit, um, and he just didn't get the the free looks, open looks. Nigel has four turnovers. I don't think he's had four all year in a game, um, you know. And that, you know, the you know, I think the two glaring stats: second chance points, um, eighteen to eleven, and then points off of turnovers. We had, I say, we only have thirteen turnovers. But they, they scored 16 out of that. So that's 11-point difference plus the second chance. And that's probably the, the biggest difference in the game. Thank you, Coach. We'll take uh, first question from John Kurtz. Hey, Bruce, looking back on it, um, are there things you guys could have done to get Nigel going sooner in the game? Or, or what, do you, what do you feel like looking back on that? Um, I, you know, they're just good. We, and, I, you know, and Garrett's good. And he, they were going to make sure – I mean, they were all over him, and we we actually put a couple new different looks in, um, hoping to use him in a screening action, hoping to get him on a second action, uh, because we knew it wasn't going to be easy for him. And he, you know, it's just, it, you know, he's he's still a young guy. He had some things to learn. Uh, he, I thought he had a couple little drop down passes or little late uh, coming off the ball screen. He had Davy on one time, Casey maybe one time. You know, plays, I think if they don't have that pressure pressure and they blitz him, you know, he's probably going to make those. So, he, you know, he, he's – again, I've said all along, I don't want to put too much pressure on him, but we – obviously we need him to play well um, if, if we're going to have a chance. Where do you feel like right now just the offense is overall? Is, is it starting to wear on, on everybody, the struggles you guys have been having there? Yeah, I mean, it, it – it, you know, it, it – you know, they again, they, they fought us a little bit. We didn't um, – I didn't think we executed, get to places that we're supposed to, what we're looking at. Uh, you know, I, I, some of the guys, this is the first time in Allen Fieldhouse. I think they were looking – you know, you're looking around and all a little bit. And, you know, now your focus isn't where it should be. Uh, we've had really good teams that come in here that are rated high, that have struggled and done that. And I told them it's uh, – this is, uh, you know, there's not 16,000 people in the, the music going and all that stuff. So uh, learning, learning, uh, learning experience, that's, that's all we can do. Uh, you know, and I know the offense is, we're struggling, but we cannot break down on defense and we have to box out. We got to play tough if we're going to have any chance to, to do those things, uh, you know, and, and, you know, to give us a chance to be in game. Appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Next question to Kellis Robinette. What would you say is the, the team's best source of offense when, when another team does take Nigel away? Where do you want to go? Next? Well, we hope to go inside a little bit. Um, you know, at, and we got, you know, Davion got some, you know, he's three for five, Casey's over five. And, you know, you're hoping that you can get a few points there. And then use, uh, you know, little Nigel in some screening actions or misdirection. Um, you know, so that that would be – and move, I thought we had good ball movement against Texas A&M. There were a few possessions here we did, but a lot of times, you know, their defense, their switching, their ice ball screens, those things we don't, we don't always read very well. And, and you know, that's, again, it's, it, it's a lot of it's new to them. 
uh, it makes you got to think. They make you think. They play a little different, and and now you you don't you know you don't make those plays that you normally do. That against A and M, you you asked the guys to hold them below sixty. Was there a number you had in mind today? I I thought if we had a chance to keep it in, you know, I said in the fifties against A and M. To be honest. And, and tonight, I thought if we could keep them in the 60s, you know, and, and obviously we needed to shoot ball, the ball well, uh, make some threes to give us a chance. Um, and, you know, I, I, I look at their shooting. It seemed like they shot it really well, but really they they didn't. They did field goal decent, but threes, nine for 29. But they were the ones they hit were backbreakers. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, another stat for you. It was 38 to 18 uh, in the paint scoring. Yes. Did, McC did McCormick that, just kind of outscrap you guys and out tough you? Yeah, that it, 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 the, the toughness thing, the, the offense, second chance points, the points off turnovers. And then obviously they, they made a decision. Um, you know, McCormick came in, McDonald's All American. People were saying one and done. You know, but he's had to work his way and earn his time. Now he's they got their most shot attempt, and and he's and he's come up for them. You know, nine for fourteen, pretty successful in the paint, uh, ten rebounds. Um, he's an older guy, uh, you know, and and made and made some good plays for them. You get one steal and to make him turn it over, I think five or six times. Are you getting the scrappy effort, the scrappy play that? kind of transitions into positive things? I, I think the two things, you know, part of it when we struggle offensively, you know, it kind of breaks our spirit. And and I and it's part of it. They, they you know, when you come to Kansas Allen Fieldhouse, it's not we're not the first ones that it, that happens to, but you know, we we it's what I said before. Our offense, you know, is is kind of what it is. We have to we have to defend. We have to be tough. We have to rebound. To have any chances, and we have to play hard. We have to really play hard, and you know they. It's like you you can call it scrappy plays, hustle plays, whatever. We can't we can't let them outman us that the next time we play them if we're going to have any chance. And defensively, did you lose Braun a few times, especially early in the second half? I thought we did some decent things. We we. Um, you know, defensively, and, and then it was second chance, a little bit of transition. Um, you know, they 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 got it inside and then got it outside. I think that's where Braun got a couple of them. Um, you know, once he made a few, uh, you know, he he has not shot it well. He had five against uh, Baylor, and the other the the other four games this last five, he's only made two. But you, you know, you make a couple, now you start feeling good and. Boom, you know, it, it, it's what he did here last year also. And was that 18 to three stretch just kind of compounded by some poor, uh, poor offensive possessions by you guys? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, it, it, to stop a run, you got to get stops, you got to get rebounds, and then you got to execute on the other end and somebody's got to step up and make a shot. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, hey, Bruce. It seems like you know you guys did kind of everything you needed to do to hang around the first half there, and, and got down to five at one point. And then you know you're only down eight at halftime, but then that first ten minutes of the second half, they outscored you guys twenty three to seven. What what happened there? Was that more of what they did defensively, or were you guys just not doing what you needed? I think a little. You know, obviously, I thought it was their second ten points. I thought it was, um, you know, that those those toughness plays that. They 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 threw it out of bounds. I think two or three times to start the second half, and and then we just didn't execute on the other end, and and then you know now you give them enough leeway and enough opportunities. Boom! Now they get. I think they had three offensive rebounds in a row. Now you get Ron free for a three. You get you know Obaji open for a three, and now all of a sudden it's a you know a ten zero run, thirteen to one run, whatever it was. And then, uh, you know, when we met with Mike, he mentioned that uh, Dejuan was a great presence on the bench, being energetic and offering, uh, you know, coaching corners. I mean, how uh, how excited are you about that? Just because it seems like he's a guy that, that might be easy to get kind of down considering he can't play right now. Well, I think 
stage one came and was talking in the locker room. He was talking, trying to be enthusiastic. I mean, you know, doing what he does. And, you know, I, um, obviously we want him back sooner and later, but at the same time, we got to make sure that foot is healed uh, before he makes that uh, push. He has worked very hard with Luke. Um, it's, it's, I don't, I doubt if he'll be back Saturday. That would be a long shot. Um, you know, maybe next week if it all, if everything goes well, but we can't push him and have that thing, uh, you know, be hurt for a long term.